figure that one out. How do you get drugs and cell phones into prison? Well, a lot of it can come in through the visiting program that we have. Sometimes the inmates will uh, receive uh, the different bindles of different things, and they can actually, uh, how do I say this? Just say secrete them, secrete them up their up their rectum, and bring it in that way. That's uh, that normally, sort of defies normally, my imagination. Normally, the visitor the visitor won't secrete it in that fashion. Right. They'll bring it in, and it might be uh, hidden in some clothing. It might be in the baby's diaper. Once they get that out, and it's in the visiting room, then they then they pass it off to the visitor. I mean, to the inmate. The inmate may have a hole cut into his pants. So he puts it into his pocket with the hole. He's already lubricated prior to coming into visiting and then stashes it. Then there's the matter of keeping the goods hidden once inside the prison. Gang documents, razors and other weapons, cell phones and chargers can all end up in the hiding place of last resort. Turn around, right for left foot with toes, but at the waist, pretty scarf. <coughs> Yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of these strip searches, and usually what you do is you get the guy naked, he's got to spread his cheeks, you ask him to cough. Right. That's, uh, all of those things are... That's a lot of muscle control to be able to hold something, control, and at the same, yeah. same time, but just like any other muscle, muscle that can be developed, uh, they, they work on that, uh, just for, that, for those reasons. I'm telling you,